Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to start creating your portfolio, and hopefully we can you know get it all done close to today. So, and as long as you're in any form of Google or you know Gmail or Google Classroom, you click the apps up here. Some people call it the Waffle or the Rubik's Cube. You click Google Sites. Um, now, when you click Google Sites, obviously you want to make sure that you're logged into your MPSD account, and then that should that will sync up to your drive. You click Student Portfolio. When you click Student Portfolio, a template of a portfolio will show up. A template is pretty much just, you know, it's a sample portfolio for you to then edit over. So this is the sample that comes up. You can name everything. Let's say if your name is Joe, Joe's PLTW portfolio. So far we've been doing a lot of CAD. So if you go to select image and search, you can, you know, if you type in CAD, then, you know, something CAD related might show up. So the background will change. Here you can write your name, PLTW. Same thing here. You really want to make it customized to yourself. First thing you really want to do is share with others, and then you share with me. So T White at mpsdnj.us. You share that with me. Down here, this is your home page. So really, where it says about me, that's the only thing you need to work on. So if you hover over anything else, you can just delete everything by clicking the garbage can. So you don't need any of this stuff over here. All you really are looking for is the about me section because that's the home page it's really just going to say and for the about me all you really put is your name um what grade you are in and what the class is and what this is and this is my pltw portfolio something like that you don't have to even worry about this, just something generic of, hey, this is who I am, this is what the site is, great. Now pages. Something that might be confusing is classes has a few classes in there. So if you click those three dots and press delete, then those will, you know, those will delete. And what you really want to do now is you want to take all the assignments from Google Classroom and add those as pages with that plus sign. So let's see, the first assignment was, let's say, Tinkercad Learning. So if you click... Tinker, you write Tinkercad Learning. Now that shows up as a page. Another assignment, let's see what else we got. We have Tinkercad Keychain, Tinkercad Screw. So you can start writing all of the assignments and they will be their own pages now. You wanna do that with all of your assignments from Tinkercad and SketchUp. So let's start working on the Tinkercad Screw one. Um, well, you're not gonna really upload a picture, but you, you make the image something like something that's related, so screw and bolt maybe, that something should come up, you know, just, yeah, something like that, it's a good background. And then you, what you wanna write down here, nothing shows up, but if you double click, you can add text. You could say, this is the screw and bolt assignment. Um, you wanna write in something along the lines of what the assignment was about. We had to use the ISO metric thread, uh, we created a screw, we followed along the Google Slides, and then you go into Google Classroom, you click your assignment, and you can copy and paste your image there. And that should, be, that should do it for the screw part. Now you're gonna also then start making SketchUp things. So we did, you know, SketchUp Pencil and other SketchUp assignments. So what you can really do too, if you don't, right now, if you publish your page on the top, from your home screen, you'll have four sites up there, or four different pages. It'll say SketchUp Pencil, Tinkercad Screw, Tinkercad Keychain, Tinkercad Learning. What you can do if you wanna make something called sub pages, is you can make just one page called Tinkercad, one page called SketchUp, and you can take all your Tinkercad assignments and drag it into Tinkercad there. And now, Instead of you having a ton of links up top, especially as we do more work and we go into sketching and other things and other projects, now it'll just say Tinkercad and you click the arrow and all that will show up. So remember, each page should be its own page, own explanation and own picture of what your assignment was. Um, and, and that's, you're gonna keep this running throughout the semester.